What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to install and use Pam's Harvest Craft. Before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of all the new tutorials we upload, just like this one. Minecraft mods can add a wide variety of features and custom items to what is already a very expansive game. Many players enjoy custom tech mods or even mods that add brand new dimensions to the game for exploration. One other very popular category of mods would be the farming and food based mods. The undisputed queen in this category is Pam's Harvestcraft. Pam's Harvestcraft adds over 1400 new items and foods to your modded Minecraft world. This include items ranging from full-fledged meals like lamb with mint sauce to cucumbers and cucumber seeds. There is so much to explore with Pam's Harvestcraft, it would be impossible to list all of the features. In this guide, we're going to walk you through installing Pam's Harvestcraft to your Apex server, as well as go over many fun things you can accomplish with Pam's Harvestcraft. For Pam's Harvestcraft, we're going to start off by downloading the jar file. You can do this by jumping into Google and typing in Pam's Harvestcraft, Harvestcraft being one word, and then download. Once the results pull up, you can jump into the CurseForge result because CurseForge is a pretty safe and dependent site. We definitely recommend it. From there, jump into the files page for the mod and make sure that you look for the most recent file or one of the most recent file at the top. You're going to be looking for something that's compatible with the version of Minecraft that you're running. We're running 1.12.2, so we're going to make sure that we click on the download link to the right of that. From there, it's going to take you to a download page where it's going to download Pam's Harvestcraft to your computer. Once it downloads, make sure to keep that file. And then click and drag the file into a folder where you can locate it later on for convenient use. In order to install Pam's Harvestcraft, you're going to need to make sure that your server is running a Forge version compatible with Pam's Harvestcraft. We're going to use 1.12.2 of Minecraft, so Let's make sure that we have 1.12.2 of Forge installed. We can do this by heading to our main panel page of our server and then scrolling down to the jar file selection. From there, click on the drop down or just look at the drop down and make sure that it says Forge 1.12.2 or whatever version of PAMS your Minecraft is made for. Then, go ahead and stop your server. From there, you can go ahead and jump into FTP file access and then log in with your FTP file access information. And then from there, you can go ahead and jump or click into the mods folder. In the mods folder, you're gonna to wanna to click on upload to the left of the page. Once you're here, you can open up the folder where Pam's Harvestcraft has been downloaded to and then click and drag it to the drop files part of the page. Once that uploads to 100% or one out of one files at the bottom, then you can go ahead and click on the name of your server at the top of the page. From here, you can either start or restart your server to get your server up and running with Pam's Harvestcraft installed. And of course, you can always jump into console on the left part of the page to check in on the progress of your server. It's also important to note that you do need Forge installed on the client side, meaning installed on your device before you hop on the server. If you want to learn how to do this, you can hop onto the Apex Knowledge Base to find a guide on just how to install Forge client-side. For installing on a Windows client-side, the process is pretty easy. You're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you know where your PAMS Harvestcraft is installed. Then you're going to want to hit the Windows key and type percent app data and then percent and then hit enter. And this is going to bring up your .minecraft folder, which you're going to want to click into. After opening that up, all you need to do is click on the folder where you have Pam's Harvestcraft downloaded to. And once that opens up, all you need to do from there is click and drag the Pam's Harvestcraft jar file into the mods folder. And you're ready to play Pam's Harvestcraft on your Windows device. For installing on Mac OS, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you have Pam's Harvestcraft downloaded already. You're also going to want to make sure that your Minecraft client is closed. 
From there, you can go ahead and head to the top of your Mac device on the Go tab, and then click on a Go To Folder. And then from there, you're going to want to type in tilde slash library slash application space support slash Minecraft. And then you can click on Go. Once that opens up, you can go ahead and open the folder where you have your Pam's Harvest Craft downloaded to. And then you can just click and drag the Pam's Harvest Craft jar into the mods folder of your Minecraft install. With so much to be explored and created inside of Pam's Harvest Craft, you're going to start asking yourself, where do I even begin? We're going to recommend getting familiar with growing crops first. Crops and seeds are the gateway to the endgame food items that you can make with this mod. Once you're loaded into your world, you're going to start to notice different types of gardens scattered around different biomes. When they're broken, they're going to drop different food items. This could be different vegetables or different berries, depending on what garden you find. Some of the crops you find can be planted as is, but others need to be turned into seeds by placing them in your crafting grid. Once you have a few crops and seeds, you can start a farm. Just like within the vanilla game, you'll want to craft a hoe and then start tilling plants near a water source block. Then you can plant the seeds or crops and watch them grow. While the crops are growing, you're going to need something else to do. One other great part of Pam's Harvest Craft is that it adds new fish to the world. Some of the fish may include shrimp, crab, jellyfish, or catfish, and so on. Sure, you could just stand around aimlessly casting a fishing rod, but where's the fun in that? This is modded Minecraft after all. Let's automate the monotonous task of fishing with a cool new block called the Water Trap. The Water Trap is one of many different functional blocks this mod is going to add to the game. It's used to catch fish with the fish trap bait. If you want to know how to make a water trap, what you're going to want to do is head over to a crafting table with four sticks, three string, a fishing rod, and a chest. You're going to put the chest in the middle, put the sticks in the four corners, put the fishing rod at the top, and then fill in the rest of the gaps with string. Once you do that, you're going to create your own water trap. Then you can go ahead and place the water trap in at least a five by five space, the five other blocks, of course, being water, surrounding the water trap. Once you have the water trap, you're going to need to then make fish trap bait. You can make fish trap bait by heading to a crafting table and putting fish cornered by three pieces of string. You could do this in your regular inventory, but I just did this for example. Then you can head over to your water trap and place the bait inside. Then, once you've placed the bait, you can go ahead and walk away and enjoy Minecraft for a bit and just chill out. But once you come back to it, you're going to see that you have about as much fish as bait as you put in. Now that you have a steady stream of fish and crops, you can start crafting different food items in the game. Since we have lots of fish, it's time to make some sushi. The way to make sushi is you're going to need a cutting board, seaweed, and then some rice. And of course, a piece of fish. You could put this in a crafting table like so. But if you don't know how to make a cutting board, then all you need to do for that is get a brick, a stick, and then a piece of wood for the cutting board. Finding seaweed can be a bit tricky. You're going to look for a soggy garden like this in a swamp or river biome to find your seaweed. And then, of course, don't forget that once you do find seaweed, since it's so rare that you're going to want to make it into seaweed seeds and then place it in your farm so you can find it later on without having to explore a whole bunch. And and that we've collected all the resources for sushi, all we need to do is place the cutting board and then some seaweed and then some rice and then your fish of choice into a crafting table. And now you have sushi. While this may not be the best food source in the game, it's simple enough to get started and it could be stacked in your inventory. We've really only covered a few simple aspects of the Pam's Harvest Craft mod in this guide. We would have to write a short novel to cover everything that Pam's Harvest Craft has to offer. Since there's so much information to explore with the mod, we also recommend installing JEI or just enough items 
You can use this mod to see the recipes for all of the items or foods in the Pam's Harvest Craft mod. Well folks, that's all I've got for you today, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.